we're starting. Oh, holy smokes. Hey guys, Derek again, Jane L. Harley Davidson, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Um, once again, I'm stuck doing another video. Um, so please put up with me for about 14 minutes and we'll be good to go. Um, what we're going to do today is a live wire, um, something completely different to Harley, something completely different to South Dakota, let alone. Um, it's a full electric bike. Um, three colors, we've got all three of them. Um, we've got a yellow fuse, we've got an orange fuse, and we've got a vivid black. Um, I've only rode this thing about 400 yards. <clears throat> In that 400 yards, it was probably the gnarliest thing I've ever rode. Um, there's nothing like it. It's completely different. Um, I know everybody says, oh, it's a young man's ride. It's, you know, it's guys your age that are going to ride these. Um, we sold three right off the bat, and it was all to guys that were 65 or older. Um, all had har multiple Harleys. All had, all had, you know, they've rode since 1903 pretty much. Um, just super cool guys. Um, so there's not such a stigma on these. It's, you know, it's, they're revolutionary, man. They're awesome. Um, just a few um, little deals about it. It's a 120 front tire. Um, dual disc Brembo brakes. If you look, we even left a little Brembo side on the brakes. We didn't, they don't take them off on these. Usually all Harleys are Brembo brakes, but these ones we leave this Brembo sign on. Um, so one front, 120 front tire. It's a 180 rear tire. Five batteries make up what you would call the motor. Um, they're actually made in Detroit. Uh, hence the fins. So you've got two here, you've got two here, and then your fifth battery is actually going to be up here. Hence the reason for this little air duct it lets air in and uh, cools the batteries. Um, where do I want to go? It does have RDRS, which we talked about the other day. Um, does have independent front suspension adjustment as well as a monoshock suspension. That's on the new soft tails as well in the rear. Um, there's nothing like these things. If you look at it, it looks stealthy. I know everybody says these things don't make noise. Well, they don't really ne need to make noise because... It's like that whole Batman thing, right? You buy these things, they're fast, they're quick. You want to feel like Batman, this is the way to go. Um, this is All your electrical stuff is underneath here. Your charging port is here. Um, actually, we can probably skip over that black one if you don't mind, Anna. That would show a little bit. That way it's a little bit out. So your charging options on these things. Here's your, if I can get it open. So... Still haven't figured out this microphone. So there's your port. There's three options on these. There's a quick charge, just like what we have outside, or I know holiday gas stations have them. Um, hy V has them. We actually have a map in here that has all the ones across the state, which is cool. So when you plug this thing in, here's your 110, amp, 110 option. So that's your slow charge at home. Um, that's a 12 hour process. There's a 220 option you can get and that's an eight hour process and then the quick charge is an hour so that first 80 percent is done in 40 minutes that final 20 percent is done in 20 minutes and that's a cooling process i mean if anybody's ever plugged their cell phones in and had it heat up that's kind of what it's like it's kind of what these things need is a is a cooling process to prevent that um this here this is the actual charging port part of it and this is say the the smart kind of tells you where you're at there's an app that comes with these uh, HD connect I don't have it on my phone otherwise I would but it literally tells you where your battery's at it tells you how long do you have it charged it has I mean it tells you sends you two pings a day to your bike it uh, it's it's crazy it's, it's completely it's completely different um, it's handy um, of course these are run off security um, what else do we're also gonna go everybody's gonna ask what's the horsepower and torque like so these are going to be about 86 uh, pounds of foot torque of torque, and the horsepower is going to be about 105. Um, people always ask how fast these things go, and I say Jimmy doesn't let me top it out, so I have no clue. <laughs> um, but here's your suspension. Here's your monoshock suspension on the, on the end. There's actually a sixth battery that's actually tucked up down underneath here that runs all of your it runs all of your um, computer stuff, so your screen. It's a four and a 4.3 inch LCD screen or LTD. I don't know the difference between the two. Um, it's it, it works. It's cool. So I'll actually turn the screen on. All right, nothing turns on. It's pretty cool. Um, these things come with four preset modes, and then there's three other modes you can go in here and kind of create your own. So if you want to turn the thing up and make it real snappy, you can do that. So I'll just go to the modes. Um, you've got road mode. You've got sport mode, you've got rain mode, and you've got range. And then if you want to come in here and you want to add your own, you can literally turn this thing up. 
Like there's your power. Um, this is your regen, your uh, regen. So that's regenerative braking, and that's going to help you with your range. Um, basically, how to explain that as you slow down, the slowing down process of this thing is what charges the battery. Um, to me, it was kind of confusing when I first learned about it, but now that I read a little bit more, it makes sense. So we turn this all the way up. We turn our throttle all the way up. Now we're flying down the highway. Um, there's a traction control option over here, so you can go high, low, medium. I should probably turn it on high. Um, then you just hit enable. So now we got that one loaded up. Now we'll click disable just for when I take this thing for a spin in a second. It won't be on. Um, it's just cool. You can go in and do your own and make and customize the bike to your own liking. Um, a lot of people ask, well, how far can this thing go? If you're in what we consider sport mode, um, that's your that's your quick one, same as your cars. Um, you're going to get 90, I think Harley says 96 miles um, to a charge. And to me, that's about the same as a three and a half gallon tank on a windy day. Um, three and a half gallon tank, you're going to get 95 to 110. Just depends on how the wind and how you're riding. Um, if you're in rain, mo if you're in range mode, you're going to get 100. The book says 146. Um, there's been videos out there that have have guys have got more there's actually a guy i want to say he's over in europe that rode one of these things across the entire country so they are they are you know they're uh an in-town bike people make trips on them so they're cool uh, what else do we got here go in here um these things are bluetooth to your phone so you can get your music you can get your um uh what do i want to say i'm stuttering again you can get your uh your maps, you can get your music, you can get all your phone calls and that stuff right here. Um, it's all Bluetooth through a headset. I believe when you're riding these things, I'll have to have Jim Burkett. Um, he's put more miles on in any of these before out of all the people that have bought them from us so far. Um, how, to, how all that works, I haven't dove, dove too much into it. But he's charged his a few times already. He absolutely loves it. And I think the coolest part about these things is it's stealthy and it's different. And he said that when he pulled up to the first stoplight, that people kept looking over at him like, what, what are you riding? It says Harley Davidson, but it doesn't make any noise. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, I'm actually going to take this thing back. I'm going to hand the microphone over to Anna, and I'm going to probably that orange one because it's a little bit easier to get to, and I'm going to ride it back so we'll be able to start it up, and I'm going to ride it back to Mike Parsons, and he is the master at this thing. He knows more about these than I probably ever know. Um, he's an EV guy. He's super, super smart, and he's going to go over the mechanicals of this thing and what the batteries do and explain the regen process and just explain what everything is. So I'm going to go over and show you the starting up process of this thing um, to prove it makes no noise. Um, and then I'm going to give this microphone to Anna, and then she's going to try to jog and keep up with me. So when you turn this thing on... Is there plans for a cruiser type version? I don't see. I don't see why there probably won't be in the future. As of now, I have no clue. Harley's kind of like the government; they don't tell us anything that's going on until until last minute, right? So I'm sure there's got to be. I mean, with today's world, why wouldn't there be, right? I mean, there's cars, there's bikes. Harley's coming out with um, like an adult scooter, an adult mountain bike that are electrical. They're coming out with the Bronx or the Street Fighter. It's got a new motor in it. Um, as well as the Pan America that has a new motor in it. So, we're, I mean, we're diving into every market. So it's, it's going to be gnarly. It's going to be cool. So to answer your question, I don't know, but I hope they do, um, just because it would be cool to have one. So when we turn this on. Oh. It's going to say you got to rise it up. Actually, let me. I'm going to hand this over really quick, get it out of the way. There's Dustin. He loves the videos. All right. So when we start this thing up, it's like a full-grown child. There he is. Modeling is not really his thing. All right. So when you start this up, a um, little bit of a process. So if we look up at the at the um, screen, again, it makes no noise. And you'll notice, too, when I turn this on. Oh, there's Yogi. Um, when I turn this thing on, this will turn like a yellowish color. And then it's going to say, where are we at? So say, please raise the stand. I'm going to hand, I'm going to sit on it because I'll probably send it across the floor if I don't. I should probably be wearing a helmet. Jamie's probably going to yell at me. <laughs> so then you got to put your kickstand up, right? And then it's going to get loud here in a second. 
these are green now she's on so I'm gonna give this thing this microphone to Anna and I'm just gonna hop on her and uh, take her to the back to Mike Mike Parsons, welcome to the JNL <laughs> Davidson Service Department. Um, I'm here to talk about the live wire a little bit today. Um, I did go to Harley Davidson University in July uh, 2019 to get certified to work on the live wire. Um, so we got to take it apart and ride it in Milwaukee before it was released, which was really cool. Um, so, right now, I'd just like to talk about some components. So, here's the charge port on top. Um, level 1 charging is through here. Level 2 is through the larger gauge wiring here. Underneath this cover is the onboard charger. As we go down, we look at the RESS. That's the Rechargeable Energy Storage System. So that is the five um, automotive battery cells that are in this aluminum case, which the bike is built around. It really serves as the structure of the entire bike. Everything bolts to it. Um, in, in front here, under this plastic cover, there's a electric coolant pump. Um, the onboard charger and the electric vehicle powertrain is water-cooled. There's a radiator for that up front. I know it looks a lot like a traditional Harley-Davidson oil cooler, but that is a radiator. So moving back on the bike, we got the electric vehicle powertrain. Behind there, this area is the transmission. There's only one gear coming out of the powertrain and then another bevel gear that transfers the power to the uh, output sprocket here. It's all one belt. So there's the output pulley, there's an the idler pulley, there's the adjuster pulley, and then your final drive there. Um, let's go to the other side. Looking underneath, this pumpkin here, that's the transmission again. Under this plastic uh, plastic cover is the lithium 12 volt battery. All that battery does is supply power to the BCM. Um, it's constant power, so when you turn the ignition switch on, the bike comes on. And then after that, the um, RESS takes over power wise, and that 12 volt battery is maintained during the actual charging of the RESS. Underneath this plastic cover is the ABS module. The bike has um, Brembo brakes and fully adjustable Shawa suspension. In the motorcycle industry, we call that the good stuff. So you do your um, preload uh, and you set your sag with the spring, and you can have your compression and rebound dampening there. Up on the front, on the left fork, is where you set your preload. And then on the right, that controls your compression and rebound dampening. That is the components of the bike without getting any uh, deeper into it. Anything else we want to talk about? Yep, so the first time I rode it was in Milwaukee. Um, we actually took the bike apart the first day and then I think it was the first thing we did the second day was actually go ride. They had a fleet of um, I think 10 of them that the uh, students got to ride, and it was a led ride by uh, one of the uh, Harley-Davidson University instructors. I think we did about seven miles. We went through town and then got on the interstate for just about one exit to the next and got back into town. It was uh, really a lot of fun to ride. They started us out um, in rain mode, which is the most conservative ride mode, and I mean, it wasn't long before I got to sport mode. I wanted to have some fun. So got getting on on into to the inter interstate, just the acceleration was, I mean, it really is amazing. It'll do 110 in eight seconds, um, and you can do that between two exits. Yep, yep. 
And then we took some uh, twisties through a city park area on the way back into town towards the um, factory. And it really hangs on to the curves. I've been riding motorcycles since I was 18, street bikes anyway. I've been riding Buell since 2010. I feel like I could get around a track on this live wire with little experience riding it better than I could either one of my Buells I own. It just like it does it for you. There's so much technology built into this thing. Coolest feature. I just like that it's all in the twist grip. There's no shifting. I mean, it's all right there. That's it. Zero to 110 miles an hour. It's smooth. The power is available at any speed, the same torque. There, it doesn't, it feels the same if you're going from a dead stop and, it, and taking off like you're doing a launch or if you're cruising 40 miles an hour and you stab the throttle, it feels exactly the same. It always has that torque. How do you plug into the wall? We got, so each bike comes with the level one charge cord. with this under the seat. So first you would plug this side into the wall and then the light will light solid blue. And then you plug this side into the bike on top of the tank area to the charging port and then as it begins to charge the light will start blinking blue and then the light bars on the side of the LCD screen will light up and they go from red to yellow to orange to green I think is how it goes. And as it charges, they actually glow and move up in an upward motion. And then it'll, the screen will actually wake up briefly until you um, charge time remaining in hours. So you have a good idea of how long you've got left to charge. And once it's done, it'll just stay there in maintenance, maintenance charge mode. Like you can leave it plugged in. Zero sixty and three point two, and it takes about another second for every ten miles per hour after that. Yep, on level one charge. Yep. Come check it out.